right guys, we're gonna head on out here in the grass flats and see if I can catch something. And uh, if I do, of course I will record it for you guys. So this is gonna be exciting. It's very shallow right now. It's low tide. So let's see if we can get something out here. As y'all can see, it is a pretty day today. And uh, this is what's called grass flats. So we're gonna get on out here and see if we can catch any. Guys, it is so crazy out here. I've never been in a grass flat before and it is so soft and squishy. So I'm just looking in the grass. Guys, look what I found. A beautiful starfish. I'm gonna let him back in the water. Guys, I have been out here for about 40 minutes and I have not seen nothing. The only thing I have seen is um, dead. Um, well, not they're not dead, but they've been eaten, um, blue crabs. So I'm still looking, I'm gonna keep the faith. So hopefully I can at least catch one. Look at this, I found a pretty conch shell, and he's in there too. How cool is that? We're gonna put him back where I found him, which is right down here. And hopefully I will catch a crab soon. All right guys, I found my first crab, but it ain't a crab, it's a horseshoe crab, and he is buried in the sand I'm not gonna mess with him, but he is literally right in front of me. That's why you gotta wear border shoes out here. That's crazy. I've never seen a horseshoe crab like in the sand, buried in the sand, but he right there. He definitely right there. So gotta be careful where you step out here. He's just a baby, but that's cool. My first horseshoe crab. All right, guys, I am done. I have been out there for two hours in the sun. I didn't see not one live blue crab. I've seen ton of blue crabs that's been eaten by birds, but no blue crabs whatsoever. It's just too hot to be walking out there. Um, even though I'm in the water, it's supposed to be comfortable, it's not. But I'm a pivot. I'm gonna find me another location. I will show y'all some crabs today. Hello, everyone. I am at a new location. Never been here before. It is called Upper Tampa Park. I heard there's some blue crabs out here. I totally wish I brought my pool net because it's pretty high, as you can see. But, oh man, I did not even see this part. I thought I could step down here. I did not see that. So this is gonna be a challenging, very, very challenging to get crabs here. And I didn't bring a net because I thought I was gonna catch a lot of crabs at Dunedin. So this is gonna be interesting. I may have to hop over here and see if I can drag them in that way, but stay tuned. Mangroves are just so fascinating to me how it just grows out of the pod like that. They just look like cigars and they're just trying to make their way to the ground so so cool all right as always it is time to start hooking up the chicken so i forgot my glove so thank goodness i had an extra baggie and what you do is just try to you can get these at walmart i'll put the uh the, uh, the link in the description get these at walmart for like a dollar 97 something like that you want to try to put the you want to try to put the needle behind okay what is up with this <laughs> you're trying to put the needle behind the uh, chicken um, bone so they won't rip it out easy and you're just gonna hook it and squeeze it just like that and now you're ready to go all right we got both of them going so we're gonna toss it over all right guys I hopped over the fence this is sketchy 
but that's the only way I can freaking get the, uh, you know, the crab lines out there because I didn't bring, I didn't bring my nets or anything. I did, thank goodness I just keep chicken, um, chicken on a string in my car, but yeah, so we're going to toss it out here. This is super sketchy, but I ain't got no choice. Okay. Woo. All right. All right, we're going to go ahead and toss it out here and I'll be right back. I got it tied out, so hopefully we'll catch some crabs. Here we go. And we shall see if we get a tug or not. I know you can't see him, but there's a blue crab moving my way. And he's a big boy, so I'm I'm happy to see blue crab out here. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. Alright, I was out there for an hour and I didn't get anything. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Sitting out in that heat was just killing me and not be able to get nothing for an hour was just no. So no upper Tampa Park for me. Um, I'm gonna look somewhere else. I don't know, Tampa just don't have good spots. I know I've looked over and like scoured it, like went on the internet and they've given me spots, but they're not pinning out. I tried Picnic Island. Um, I've tried uh, Davis Island. I've tried um, Ballast Point, upper park right here, nothing absolutely nothing so um if i don't find anything today then y'all will have to come back tomorrow all right guys new location <laughs> number three hopefully i can get something out of here this is um waterfront park in port ritchie florida i just looked on google maps and i seen that they had um a boat ramp and i'm gonna decide if I'm going to stay out here or not, hopefully we'll catch some crabs out here because I haven't caught one today and I've been up since 7 o'clock. It's a nice overcast day and I'm right beside Hooters, I think, or some kind of seafood restaurant. So hopefully we'll get something. I just tossed out one. I didn't even tie it up yet. So if I feel something nugging on it, then I'll toss the other one out. They have another boat ramp, like like way over there, that has um, like a kayak ramp. So if this boat ramp don't work, there's another kayak ramp over there. All right, guys, I think we got crab on. Yep, I think we got crab on and I have not even been out here three minutes. So hopefully this is crab on. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I haven't caught one crab today. So please let this be a crab. Oh my gosh, please let this be a crab. And I still feel him. If it is a crab, please let it be a crab. Please let it be a crab. Oh my gosh, guys, please let this be a crab. It feels heavy. Okay, all right. We're going to pull them up to the surface. Oh no, he let go, but next time. All right guys, I think I may have one if I can freaking get him. Oh, of course, I always have difficulties with my um, string. Okay, let's see. Please say crab on. Come on, hold on. Let's pull him up. Let's pull him up. Oh my gosh, I think crab on, crab on. Oh, I missed him. Oh, I missed him. But he's still on. He's still on. I got him, guys. I got him. I got the first crab. And he's huge. Woohoo. Yeah. Crab on, baby. Guys, look at the size of this crab. Holy crap. All right, we're gonna try to toss him in here. His, d dude, this has to be one of the biggest crabs I have ever caught. Oh my goodness. Hold on just a second. 
Dude, he don't even hardly fit in my bucket. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? Guys, it's so hot out here and I didn't like dress properly for crabbing because I was wading in the water. My feet are going in the water because they are burning up. So I'm about to put one chicken drumstick on one side and the other on the other side. So I am so excited. All right, we may have crab on. I'm gonna start raising it to the roof. Let's see. Nope, he fell off. Guys, we may have crab on right at my feet. Let's see. Let's pull it up. I think I got crab on. And I do, right at my feet. I got him! Woohoo! Look at that, guys. Right at my feet. You see this? Do y'all see this? I caught him right at my feet. Sweet! This is so cool. And he trying to get the chicken. Uh-uh, buddy. You mine. Woohoo! All right, I may have crab on between my legs again. If I can get him up to the surface. Nope. It's not holding on. I gotta go put these in the um, car. Oh. All right. I know it's hot. Wow. Currently, I'm in the car because it is raining, but I will be back out there. get rid of them all right guys I think we got a runner I think we got a runner if you hold on oh yeah we got a runner all right guys this is it this is it we're gonna try to pull him in he is definitely running and he is definitely on there yeah we definitely got a runner all right let's see if we can we can get him on here Let's pull him up to the surface. We definitely got something. We got a runner, guys. Here we go. Yep, we got a runner. And we got him. We got him, guys. Woohoo! I knew he had a runner. Look how pretty he is. We got one in there and about to dump this one in there and he is not happy. Hold on. Let's see. See if he's gonna go in here peacefully. 
Why do they do that? Why y'all do that? Let's see if we can get him out of here. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Oh, it's a baby. Is it a female? It is a female. Baby female. All right, guys, we got a runner. He doesn't feel big, but we about to see. Definitely got a runner. Oh, he let go. Got one, crab on, crab on, crab on. Crab on. I'm sorry if y'all can't see it, it's to the side. Yep, crab on. Woo! There you go, guys. Nice. All right, we got another swimmer. Got another swimmer. We don't pull him up gently. Oh, we missed him. Oh, I got him. Oh my gosh, I got him. I got him. I got him. That's so funny. That's the first time. Oh, wow. Y'all see that, guys? Woohoo! He swam right by my feet. And I scooped him up. Sweet. Alright, I got four, guys. Crab on, baby. Crab on. Look, guys, I caught three of them at one time! Yo, this is wild, and they're all keepers! Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at that! Oh my gosh! All right, guys, I have caught so many so far, and it is so cool that I caught three at one time. Three. And um, the park closes at 8.30, it's 7.30 right now. I got a, another hour. I'm gonna see how many more I can catch and then I'll show you the results when I get back to the house. But um, my GoPro died, so that's why I'm filming on my phone, but I've been charging it, so I'm about to switch back to my GoPro. All right, guys, the sun is setting. I got about 45 minutes, so let's go. All right, guys, crab on, crab on, crab on, crab on. I see him, I'm bringing him on up. Crab on. Got him, guys. Woohoo! Look at that. Nice. Look how beautiful it is out here. So gorgeous. It's always pretty after it rains. Crab on, guys. Crab on. Crab on. He is pulling. Hopefully he will stay on. Come on, crab. Stay on. This will probably be my last one of the night. You too. Y'all have fun. <laughs> All right. Come on, guys. Hopefully he's still on. Hopefully he's still on. I can't see anything. I uh, think he's on. Nope, I missed him. Because I can't see. Crab on, guys. Crab on. I had to turn on my light because it is so dark. But crab on. He is tugging. All right, hold on. Maybe he's he hopefully he's still on there.
Dang, I think he dropped off. All right, guys, I am back in the car and I am about to head home. Um, I gotta stop by the store and pick up some ice and I'll do the final count at home and the ending to this video. All right, guys, here is the loot right here. They are absolutely gorgeous and I counted and I got a dozen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And that big monster is down there. He was my first catch of the day. He is right there. Oh my gosh. These crabs are so beautiful. All right, you guys, I am finally sitting down. I am so ready to take a shower. I have been over mosquito sprayed, over bitten by no seams, over um, heated, over drenched by the rain, over disappointments, two disappointments. I just cannot believe Dun Eating Causeway let me down. I would not recommend you go out there by yourself, even with the low tide. I watched a YouTuber like three days ago. He caught so many crabs out there in low tide in the grass plains. Don't do it. Don't do it by yourself. The grass feels weird. I was stepping in holes. I almost broke my ankle a million times. It's muddy. It smells. Um, I almost stepped on a horse crab. Um, I did see a bunch of like shells that were really pretty and I seen a starfish, but it was a disappointment. I was out there for two and a half hours walking like an idiot. I didn't see anything, not one live crab. Upper Tampa Bay, don't go to there. I get there and there's like four people back there. There's a reason why there's four people because there's nothing there. Even though I did see one blue crab, there's nothing there. Um, so I was very upset. I said, I gotta give my YouTube followers a crabbing video. I promised them a crabbing video. So I went on Google Maps and I said, where can I go that has, you know, not a lot of people, it's new to me, and it's close to home. And I found it. I seen a boat dock. I said, it's a park. I said, you know what? It's brackish water. Let's try it. And it was the jackpot. Not even five minutes, I threw my chicken off the dock and I caught that seven incher. Don't y'all love seven inches? Oh, gets you all tingly inside. But um, I did great. I did lose about 45 minutes due to showers in the era, area and it was thundering and lightning and I just was it about to get zapped with a metal dock. So I did lose 45 minutes, but a dozen is enough for me. I, it's just me. Um, so I am ecstatic and that's gonna be a new spot. I am so happy. Um, it does open up at 6.30 and close at 8.30. I just got out of there because they had the Rangers waiting to close the gates and I was rolling out there at 8.32. So <laughs> thank goodness they were patient. So it was great. It's been a great fun day. Um, I cannot wait to get in the shower and get these guys chilled down so I can clean them. And I want to give a shout out to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. We are on the road to a thousand soon. I want to get monetized and, you know, I just want to feel like, oh, I've accomplished something on YouTube. Um, so, um... Thank you once again. If you like the video, please, please give me a thumbs up. That helps the algorithm so everybody else can find me and everybody else can like my channel. Um, like I said, my channel is all about solo trips and solo adventures. Get out there. If you are by yourself, female or male, and you deal with whatever, insecurities, anxiety, I'm telling you, Crabbing is so therapeutic. It is hot. It is miserable sometimes. You get a suntan. I feel like I have turned three shades darker. And, you know, you're dehydrated because you're in the sun. But once you start catching them and find a good location, it is so fun. So get out there and try it. You won't regret it. Like I said, I will put in the description 
the crab lines that I get from Walmart. I will put in the descriptions my little crab nets, which I did not bring a crab net. I was not prepared for today. Just to let y'all know, I was not prepared for today. I literally had my bathing suit on, this t-shirt, some shorts, and flip-flops. I didn't bring no gym shoes, no socks, no yoga pants, no nothing, because I was not expecting to go crabbing like I usually do. I thought I was going to wade in the water, catch crabs like that YouTube guy that I saw catching crabs three days ago at Dunedin Causeway. No, 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 didn't happen. So my feet got burnt. I turned a color, a shade darker than I would like. Um, so I had to adapt. You'll see, <laughs> you'll see some tan lines on me. Oh my goodness. But it still was a fun day. It still turned out fine. I didn't bring my baskets. I really wish I brought my bath. I'm telling you, if I would have brought my baskets, it would have been on. I probably would have caught over a dozen, but you live and you learn. Next time I will put some extra clothes in the car and some extra gym shoes just in case something goes bad like that. But anyways, I am ready to get off of here, get a shower, relax, watch some live PD, if you know, you know. Or no, it's not live PD, it's called OP Live. So yeah, it's called OP Live now. So let me get started um, getting some ice on these bad boys and I will see you guys on the next adventure. Like I said, please like, share. It helps the algorithm so I can continue to grow. And I will see you guys later.